Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to Hot Stopper Season 3, Episode 5. I'm very excited to see what happens in the second half of this season. Uh, the first half has been very emotional, a lot of trauma, a lot of emotional on and just a lot of stuff going on. And it's made me cry just a few times already. So we'll see what the second half has now that um, Charlie has gotten some help, he's back. What does that mean? I don't know, but we'll see. So, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out Patreon if you want to watch these episodes unedited and weeks in advance. So, go check it out right now, okay? Thank you. Uh, the link is down below in the description if I didn't say so before. But, uh, thank you for watching, and without further ado, here we go. What's going on with Tori? Is she worried about Charlie? Aww. Seven. I only slept for like two hours. Mm-hmm. Same. I get that. Are you worried about today? Going back to school today. Thinking about what presents I'm gonna get. Oh, Christmas. I hope I get a soul. <laughs> Relatable. <laughs> I hope I get a mum who can regulate her emotions. Damn. I hope I get grandparents who don't come in my way. Woo. I hope Dad remembers to properly season the turkey. <laughs> Real though. Yeah. Yeah, he won't. <laughs> At least they have Merry each other. Christmas. Christmas episode. Winter. My favorite season. Are you two getting dressed? Yeah, in a minute. Okay, well, don't take too long because everyone will be arriving soon. Seems a little stressed out. She's always grumpy when Grandma and Granddad are coming around. I get that. And yet she still invites them every Christmas. Uh, yeah, she doesn't have to. You're an adult. You can be like, nah, no thanks. Wow, that's a lot of people. Oh, and the aunt's back. I love her. Okay, so Nick's family's having its own party. And this cute puppy. This is Henry. Okay, hi Henry. I Adorable. Think you and Ellie are gonna be best friends, right? Yeah. Good boy. Mm -hmm. Henry is the cutest dog I've ever seen in my life, and I need to meet him immediately. I agree. Also, have... yeah, trying to remember to put that smile, fake smile on. It's a lot of work, more than you would think. Yeah, just go to Nick's whenever you need to. Little guy who needs hugs, I did mean Henry. <laughs> Nick's so cute. You're still looking a bit skinny. Aren't you? Oh, God. Um, uh, oh, no, Victoria, why do you cut all your hair off? Uh, let's get you a drink. Hey, so, on. these kind of grandparents, okay. You got him so big. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What did you get? I got loads of tractors. Mm -hmm. What did you get for Christmas? We have cousins. <laughs> this is why I hate the holidays. God, there's Charlie. Good job. Charlie, you need to tell us about your boyfriend. What's his name? Nick. Oh, you've been going out? Oh, okay, supportive cousins, love it. Eight months. Oh, wow. What about you, Tori? Any lovely men in your life? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, on much. Straight boys are the absolute worst. They really are. I just hope this one turns out better. <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah. Yeah. Great, thanks. I'm fine. We're fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Very tense. This is why I don't do Thanksgiving and Christmas with the family. Because this is annoying. Um, I, I think she's just worried. Yeah, fair. Can't I just try and have a normal day? It's going to be a while to get back to normal. Oh, the brother. Oh, I don't want to see him. You know dad's not coming. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. He won't. He won't. Ever since your boyfriend became mentally deranged, you've been acting like mentally deranged. 
Oh my god. I mean, I get it. Like, he wants attention. He stops eating. You have to be the hero who saves the day. Someone needs to punch this man. Oh my god. You look like a pervert. You look ridiculous with the little mustache. You look like the guy from Lovely Bones That Kills. You know, you know, you know who if you know who I mean, you know, you know. And that's a group chat. <laughs> Who's just doing that in a group chat? Okay, flirt. Um, weird. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's not right, it's rude. Now come and use those big strong muscles to help me move the table. <laughs> the grandma is so supportive, I love her. They are looking so cute. Oxford, you're gonna do wonderful things and make us all so proud. No pressure at all. Oh, she's trying to figure this out. Trying to view. What if I was? Some might say you fancy me. Ooh. What if I do? I wonder what we'll do. <laughs> Wait, glasses, glasses. <laughs> Why, why did you take up the glasses? Oh, uh oh, and yeah. Sorry, was that, was that, um, sorry. They've sorry. never gone this far, I'm guessing, and it's about to be a little awkward. Should we, should we go for a walk? Yeah. Yeah, let's cool off a little bit, relax. It's a relief you could come back for Christmas, isn't it? Can't imagine what Christmas would be like in a place like that. Mm, okay, awkward. They decorated it for Christmas. It's really helpful. So is it only back for Christmas? Yeah, of course. You just hear horror stories, don't you? White walls, straight jackets, all that. Okay, so... One, like, really crazy in there. <laughs> You're not supposed to say that. We just... Have this is why family sucks. They stress you out. With us. Uh, I'm gonna get a drink. It's not like he's magically cured or anything. Well, he seems was... great. As if nothing ever happened. Mm, no, it's not true. It's okay, Tori. It's okay. Try to ignore. Not everybody understands what you've been dealing with. So I just have to put up with ignorant comments from my own family. <sighs> Sadly, as a kid, you kind of have to until you're old enough to not be around your family like me. Why don't we just go and play Mario Kart or something? I know Oliver wanted to play. I, I'm mm. just aware that today's been a very difficult day for you, Charlie. She's trying. I will give the mom credit. She is trying. Dietitian said that that's. You're not helping. You're making me feel worse. It's fine. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I even it's tried. a tough line. She's really trying. He's really stressed out. I don't think either of them could do right right now. Nothing she could say would help. He's going to Nick's. Going to Nick's. Yeah. Please don't. Don't leave her. Just can't deal with Why don't Tori come with you? Can't you at least spend Christmas with me? Damn. You have been ditching her a lot, and she spend loves all you. all your time with Nick anyway. Because he treats me as something other than mentally ill. She doesn't treat you that way. I do too. Yeah. You're kind of Sorry. forgetting about her, leaving her behind. I'll no, no, take her with you. Just be like, hey, come with me. We need some more bonding with Tori and Charlie. Tori needs more love. Where's your coat? You think to grab an umbrella? How close do they live to each other? It doesn't seem like it's that far. They're so cute. And I'm again, I'm jealous of teenagers. Goddamn. <laughs> I think this is the boyfriend. I would get, yeah, I would say so. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Oh, he has a more fun family besides the brother. Promise. I love her. <laughs> Probably a little bit big. Probably. I'm so cold, right? He's a. 
around when I change. Yeah, it's the whole body dysmorphia stuff. It's yeah. Um, it's not you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> he really wants to peek, though. Okay. He changed oh. fast. You look. Adorable. I look ridiculous. <laughs> it's weird adorable. saying him in Nick's clothes. <laughs> it's so big on him. Are you sure you don't want to talk about it? I just want to have a nice day. Sometimes you just don't want to talk about it. You just need a day to forget about things. Do anything but think and talk. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cute. What the other dog? Oh. Who making out? No way they would be just allowed to be in their room making out for this long. No way. Without the door open. Some toast, okay. Making him feel comfortable, happy, love it. He's so much happier here. I love it for him. I just wish he brought Tori with him. <laughs> Doctor Who, I remember this episode. Donna. Doctor Donna. Oh. Boy's coming. And this douche nozzle. Did he text you? Dad. Your dad doesn't care about you, dude. So maybe don't push away the only family you do have. You know you got a real family. Yeah. Who actually want to hang out with you. Not one dad play the rest of your family. The dad, dad doesn't show up. Family. Is he? I think family is the people who actually give a shit. Amen. Family of people that show up. <laughs> he is terrified of Merry her. Merry Christmas. <laughs> she just appears, and I love it every time. You left me to fend for myself against our cousins. Yeah. Not fair. I was in a bad mood because no one would play Mario Kart with him. Oh, God. And I think Mum might be willing to apologize. Oh. As wild as that sounds. <laughs> oh, there's other dog. So cute. I hate Christmas. Amen. Same here. You don't. I worry about you all the time. Yeah. Did you know that? You're not the only one affected. There's other people around you that we just want to be there for are hurting. You. you have to let us. Yeah. And not just. Well, it's always New Year's Eve. Yeah. <laughs> New year, new everything. I mean, I think about it. Like, all the time. Not all the time. A respectful amount of time. <laughs> thinks about one's going. You're a teenage boy. It's expected. I also want to do things. Is it that she's never done it before? More complicated for me. So. Since she's became a she. I don't really think about you being trans, if that makes it easier. But no, she does. But I am trans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a big feeling so safe with him that I'd even think about, like, taking my clothes off in front of him. Yeah. It's kind of a bit complicated for her. Yeah, this when teenager. When you there, all my dysphoria just hit me. It made me feel like my body wasn't my body. Aww. Like, like I wasn't there at all. Aww. Just want to hug her. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Okay, Elle. It's no pressure. Yeah, no need to be sorry. Sorry, I made you feel like that. It's okay. I know we haven't really talked yeah. about this. Neither before. of you did anything wrong. Just have a conversation about it. How about while I walk you home, we can talk a bit more about what you're comfortable with? Okay. Conversation, <laughs> always good, healthy. <laughs> okay. Okay. How, do they all live near each other? Okay, and now they're having a conversation, apologizing. 
Love it. Oh, and now he has, he, he has one of Charlie's Chloe. Love it. Mm-hmm. We're in second place. You're in second already. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're moving to New Year's Eve now. He's so cute. Hey. Hey. I was my time. Looks great and green. Oh, I missed him. I missed him, buddy. buddy. You do know you can be my taxi driver. Friend. Oh, he has a car now. Nice. Mm. Lucky me. Is the P on it, like, for permit? Is that what they do in England? If you, like, a permit driver and not, like, a licensed... Going like viral, and then I get a wave of me. Nice. Oh, good for her. So amazing. <laughs> she deserves all, everything, the best. <laughs> yeah, everyone's so excited to see Charlie. Copyright's gonna hate this. She seems a little stressed out. Hey. Ooh, champagne. Are these two gonna reconnect? It's gonna come up your nose. <laughs> now it's coming out of your mouth. Don't you want to Hey. Hey. Oh. Let's do it. So Haas seems to really like Imogen, and the Imogen doesn't know what she wants. It's about my pronouns, but that's kind of it. I think. I just want to see how I, how I feel for a bit. Okay. I, you don't need to rush to come out as anything. Yeah. Just chill. And like, have fun with it. Yeah. yeah. Go through it. Feel mm -hmm. it out. I'm driving. <laughs> hey, Charlie. How come she were off school for so long? Well, how do we explain this to everyone at school now? She's just going to go head outside. But see you later. The little projector. Chow dancing is always fascinating. Some electricity. They've been talking about it, so they're gonna do it now? Or not. She's still not comfortable. And that is fine. It's the thing you did tell. It's okay. It's just gonna be time and more talking about it. More than Kiss it. Anyway, you don't seem that happy about that. I am. It's, but it's a big deal. Yeah, it is a big deal. And, and I just freak out. If you're not ready, babe, then yeah. you don't have to do anything. Yeah. I want. To. Hey. How's your night? Mm -hmm. Better than Christmas. Tori needs someone. She That's needs... a pretty low bar. Oh, damn. <laughs> Still. Managed a whole night out without a breakdown, so therapy must be doing something, right? Yeah. Maybe it is. Praise be to Jeff. <laughs> Off being fun and cheerful. She needs someone that's more like her vibe. Do you actually enjoy being around? That might help. Yeah. The only person I care about is you. Aww. It won't be true forever. Eventually, you'll find someone else to care about. Almost midnight. Make sure you got someone to kiss. Oh, Harry. <laughs> I thought we'd never see him again. Kiss me at midnight. I'm not here for that. I wanted to apologize. Okay. That's been so toxic. Mm. Oh. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> she was not expecting that. I wasn't doing it for attention or anything. I believe her. She just doesn't know, know what she's what doing. doing. Want to be just an experiment to you? I get that. Especially when you know 
You're the reason I realised I was buying the first place. Mm. Wait, I didn't know that. Yeah, if you didn't tell her that, how was she supposed to know that? I didn't know that. Oh, do we have someone for Tori? Okay. He is tall. Okay. It was a little something, a, li a little vibe. Hi, uh, <laughs> don't worry, I'm not here to kiss you. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to be alone at midnight. Okay. You have a buddy. Come with me. Oh. She's okay. going to do it New Year's Eve. Or New Year's Day, I guess. I'm not a big New Year's fan. I'm just going to say it now. It's a little overrated. Stay up late. And fireworks is not my biggest thing. Eh. Nothing really changes between December and January. Oh. Oh, I love Tori, and I I relate to her so much right now, and I feel her. I get the vibe of Tori, and I want her to be happy. Oh, so this is another episode where I am closely relating to another person, and this time it's Tori. Tori's the winner here. I'm very related to Tori. It's gone through a couple characters this season, and this time it's Tori. She's not a big fan of a lot of people. Same here. Um, she cares about one particular person, her brother. Um, I don't quite have that. Um, she's very like alone and has no one really there for her. And I relate to that a lot. That she just like, like as she was saying to Charlie. Charlie is so preoccupied with Nick that he's abandoned her. That's what I feel like when I have close friends that just kind of like, oh, they get relationships, they have other closer friends, and I'm kind of left behind, and I get to be alone during like, New Year's Eve, and Valentine's Day, and all these things, but what well, it was like my roommates all went on double date the other night, and I was home alone, because I don't have anyone, and that's very much what Tori feels like, and... I feel like she's kind of wanting, she may not admit it, but she feels like she kind of wants some connection, something closer. Maybe that boy we saw, maybe that was something, and hopefully it's not just a tease and we're not going to see him again, because I feel like it's got to be something. I don't know who he is, but I feel like we'll see him again. Um. So yeah, Charlie is still figuring out the new normal, of coming back, and holidays is a rough time, definitely to come back from that situation. Because holidays is filled with family. And as I know very well, family, ugh. Family during the holidays, ugh. The roughest. Um, there's a reason why every Thanksgiving and Christmas, I either spend alone or I spend with friends. I don't really do family for holidays because it just ends up being toxic and it ends up making me hate Christmas, hate Thanksgiving. Two holidays, which I have hated for a long time now because of family. And drama and being, I don't know. For me, it's personally like, yeah, just like kind of Charlie had with family talking about you right in front of you and making comments and every and that stuff. He also has to worry about everyone. I I get he's annoyed with his mom, worried about him, but his mom has the right to be worried about him. I don't blame her for that at all. Does she handle things the best way and say the right things at the right moment? No. Is she the meaning and behind all her actions and what she's saying correct most of the time? She just needs to work on the best way to, to have a conversation with Charlie. Because right now, anything she says triggers Charlie. And she needs to find a different way around that. A new way to talk to him. Because the previous ways are not working. But I do relate with how family during holidays is... It can be very stressful. Definitely when you're going through something personal yourself, and especially if they know about it, I'm like, ooh, rough. Hmm. At least he has the refuge of Tori, even though he kind of ditched Tori, which pissed me off a bit. Because Tori does all, does, deserves better, and she's always there for him, but he's never there for her. 
kind of annoys me. I get it. Charlie's going through shit. I 100% get it. But you got to realize all the people around you are doing stuff too and maybe show a little love to them. Don't just put all your focus on Nick because there's some other people that love you that are around you and love and care for you. So maybe show them that you care too. Just saying. Um, we saw Nick's brother again. That's all I gotta say. Yeah. I don't know the belief of, like, the dad. The dad is not a good family member. Move on. Your dad sucks. Move on. I know it sounds like, oh, it's easier said than sound. I haven't had to do it. I see my dad once every couple years, maybe. Sometimes once a year. I text him once every couple months, maybe. I didn't see him for the, after my parents got divorced at three when I was three years old. I didn't see him again until I was like 16, 17. Very weird relationship with my dad. But I know it's like, okay, you know, you gotta know who people are. You gotta, at some point, just accept this is who someone is. What you have in your life. And like, these are the people around you. The people that are not around you are not your family. The people that are not supporting you and making you feel better are not your family. You can have a chosen family. And Nick's brother literally has Nick and his whole family right there. So he actually has actual family right there. But he's only worried about the guy who's not there and not supportive and never around. Interesting. I love that we did get a little see through, a little see of the aunt though. The aunt met Jolly. Cute. Love the aunt. Um, what else? Tara. Seems to be going through something. The pressure of school. All that stuff seems to be getting to her, and I hope she figures that out. Um, Imogen and Sahar figuring their shit out. I kind of love it. And who else? Um, Darcy. She's for, They are figuring their stuff out, and that is fine. Take your time. Figure it out until it feels right. Um, anything else? We went through winter, so I guess we're going to go to spring now. I wonder if Charlie goes back to the place because it sounded like Charlie was just back for the holidays. Does he go back and then go come back a little later or are we just fully back to school now? So his next episode going to be going back to school for the first time in months. If so, I'm worried for Charlie, but he's got this. We didn't see Harry for a moment and it seemed like he was fine. So that, but we haven't seen Ben. That's the one I'm worried about. Don't know what's going to happen there. We'll see. Oh, I forgot to talk about L and Tao. Elle is figuring out her body and first time having sex since she became a she and her and Tao had a nice conversation. She said her feelings. She needed a little pep talk from her friend, but they tried. Let's hope it went well. We don't know yet. Let's hope. Because that sometimes can ruin relationships. If it's bad, awkward, it could ha put a little roadblock in the way. We'll see. Um, also, just really the star of this episode, besides t um, Tori... The pug. Adorable. Even though I still love Nick's other dog better. Because I like a big fluffy dog. Pugs are cute. Not my favorite, but cute. My friend has a pug. Molly. She's adorable. But I prefer a bigger dog. Definitely a big fluffy big dog. Mmm. Love dogs. Love them. Best things in the world. Who wants people when you can have dogs? Duh. Okay. I have talked way more than enough. So I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I don't forget to like, subscribe, check out Patreon, link down below. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. I will see you guys next time. Bye.